Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial on OpenSUSE and the GCOS DAW project. In this video, we'll explore the difference between the project and the multimedia, Pro Audio repository, how to install the repository, and the structure of the programs available in the repository. First, let's start with the difference between the project and the repository. The GCOS DAW project is a community of people who maintain, develop, and test software. The multimedia, Pro Audio repository is the result of their work. That's why you'll find support for the repository on Telegram under the name GCOS DAW. Now, let's see how to install the repository. You can install the repository by following these simple steps, insert steps here. Once you have installed the repository, you'll have access to a variety of programs, including plugins and synths. Speaking of plugins, there are several types available in the repository, such as LV2, X42, plugins, LV2, MDA, LV2, LSP, plugins, and distro ports. These plugins offer everything from auto-tune to EQ to compressors. You can also add VST3, Dragonfly, Reverb for a better reverb experience. Moving on to synths, we have several options available, including Zwin Fusion, Vitalium, Surge XT, Amsynth, and QSynth. These synths are perfect for anyone who wants to create music with OpenSUSE. In addition, the repository includes various patterns, such as DAW bass apps, DAW chiptune, DAW guitars, DAW home recording, and DAW synth. These patterns contain more specific software for guitars, chiptune, and synths. Lastly, if you're a musician or want to become one, I invite you to join our community. We're always happy to welcome new members.